Hey, what's up, everybody? This is George with All Day EDH. Today we're playing Light Paws Emperor's Voice, a new card from the new set. Draw seven. We drew some good cards here. We'll keep. Uh, play this planes. Discard a strip mine, play Mox Diamond, tap Mox Diamond planes, play Light Paws, and pass. So Light Paws has, whenever an aura enters the battlefield under my control, if I cast it, I search my library for an aura CMC less than or equal to the cost of the aura and attach it to light paws so we'll play this mask on light paws triggering light paws I'll get to search my library for an aura put it on the battlefield and attach it to light paws so this enters I get a warrior token vigilance there it is I made a mistake, so we'll play Greater Oromancy and swing for three, and we'll pass. I'm gonna add some counters on here to make it easier to distinguish. Opponent plays an Arcane Signet. We'll untap, draw, shield. Let's play our SRAM. So when we play the shield we get to draw an extra card from SRAM. So this enters, light paw triggers, we search for a aura CMC one or less. So now it's four, four, we'll swing with the token as well. Thank you. So greater Oromancy gives all our other enchantment shroud and the creature shroud, enchanted creatures. So light paws right now. He plays Volo, Guide to Monsters, which is a really good commander. Uh, untap, draw. Play this Tectonic Edge. Tap, three, for Battle Mastery. Attach it to Light Paws. So this will trigger. I get to search my library for CMC three or less. And he says, good game. So opponent concedes. Yeah, that was a pretty easy game. This deck can be really fast like that. I think it would be a really good dual commander deck. Just because how fast it is. Yeah. Let's try to get another game here. So, second game here. The opponent's playing Nicol Bolas the Ravenger. Uh, we drew four lands. We'll keep it. Go ahead and play this island. And pass. Opponent plays a sleight of hand. Untap draw. We're drawing more land. Not good right now, but we will play Light Paws and pass. Opponent plays Search for his Kanta. We'll untap, draw. Play this Plains. Tap two for Containment Priest. Then we'll tap one and play this Hyena Umbra on Light Paws. Light Paws will trigger. We want protection. So shield. We want black and red, so we want mask. Find that, put it on the battlefield, then we'll swing with light paws for three. And turn, we'll add some counters on here to make it easier. So Containment Priest has Flash, I could have played it on his turn, which would have been a more secretive choice. Non-token creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast, exile it instead. So he won't be able to cheat creatures into play. He plays an aura on my light paws, how ironic. And he turns it into a land, producing colorless mana. That was a very nice play. So we will untap and draw. Play this planes. We'll generous gift the imprisoned in the moon. And then we will actually get to create the elephant. Wait, do I control that or does he? Did I control that? So, it's a 3-3 with first strike. We will swing in with light paws. He can block with the elephant but it'll have first strike so nothing will happen they'll just get rid of the elephant and we'll pass leaving one open for swords if he plays 
Nicol Bolas. Opponent looks at the top of his library, discards a mountain. I didn't even realize, but he has he needs black and red to play his commander. He has three islands out. So I have to exile each creature with uh, even mana. What? Uh, he means even. So this will get exiled and go back to the command zone. Just exile, this discard, this is discard. And get rid of the counters here. We'll untap, draw. Play the scavenger grounds. Let's play Esper Sentinel. Shake it, see if he has a response. Tap four for light paws, our commander. Get rid of the counters and pass. So we have a Starfield and Nyx in our hand, which allows us to recur ores from our graveyard. And he fatal pushes light paws. Okay, we'll untap. This has two commander counters. Draw. Drew, open the armory. We could play this for two and then find a aura CMC3. You know what? We'll just play Starfield and Nyx and swing for one s1 and pass he can put the card in his grave and flip search but no he kept it we could exile his graveyard with scavenger grounds and our graveyard would go too kind of negating starfield and nyx opponent plays nickel bolos i have to discard open the armory we'll untap draw and drew a planes Actually, at the beginning of my upkeep, Starfield the next triggers, and we'll put Mask of Law and Grace onto Esper Sentinel. We already drew. Play the planes. I think we exile Nicol Bolas here. And it got through, surprisingly. Tap 2. Sacrifice this and exile our grave in his grave. And then we'll swing for 1 and pass. Opponent discards a Grixis Charm with Search for his Kanta. Opponent plays Expressive Iteration, looking at the top three, putting one in his hand, one on the bottom, and exiling one of them. He can play the Exile card this turn. He exiled Cyclonic Rift, plays Cyclonic Rift on Starfield, so he returns... Wait, oh, he wants... He doesn't want Starfield, he wants this card to my hand. So we'll untap draw. We really need some card advantage here. Uh, Ghost Quarter is not going to help with that, but we will destroy his uh, red mana land there, uh, even though he gets to get the... I uh, probably shouldn't have done that. He'll just get a mountain, but anyway, play Esper Sentinel and pass. Opt. I don't know if he paid for that for uh, Expressive Iteration. I could go back and look, but we trust him. But I do need cards right now. He plays Ashiok Nightmare Muse, so five, six, he paid for that. Create Nightmare Tokens, uh, return non-land permanents to my hand. That's what he's choosing. Really doesn't like Esper Sentinel for some reason. Because he knows I need cards. Oh, is it Exile it? Ah, uh, I didn't read the second part of that. Okay, untap, draw, Lotus Petal, crap. So we'll tap. All this stuff here and play light paws. Opponent plays a mountain, takes up Ashiok. He's getting the token right now. Can't find the token for this, so he put made it just made a copy of it and put two three counters on there. Uh oh, I know this card. That's awesome. That's in his deck. Untap draw a planes. Should I concede right now? Well, shoot, I forgot to put this on there so play this planes a pass we're not swinging into a two three and a four five i was gonna say let's see if we can find the token for him but i don't think it'll matter we're getting pretty close to being uncomebackable so kefnet swings in for four we'll take four then he'll play nickel bolas for four he comes in i'll have to discard which i don't have any cards untap draw let's Tap two, play Spectral sh Steel on uh, Light Paws. Oh, he has a response. He counters it, dealing two damage to me. Let's see what he's got. We'll keep it going. He's about to slap me with Nickel Bolas. He's revealing for uh, Kefnet's trigger. So he's going to cast that copy, maybe. Subterranean Tremors. 
Oh, he's not casting it. Swings in with Nickel Ballas and Kefnats will take 8, going to 26. Transform Nickel Bolas, exiling it, and returning to the battlefield. And he's going to draw two cards, or deal 10 damage to me. Look at that ugly guy. Ooh, we got Flying Lizard. He is a Flying Lizard, he's a dragon. Returning this to my hand, exiling it, untap, draw, a planes. Pass it back. So, did I say draw cards would be nice? So he's got the search for his Kanta. Kefnet combo going on. Creates a 2 3 horror token with Ashiok. Swinging in for 8. Oh, sh I've been missing that trigger. So every time these guys attack, I have to exile 2 from my library. So, yeah, this commander is really quick in the start, but. What I've been noticing is it runs out of steam later in the game. You know, if we drew a draw card like um, SRAM. Do we have SRAM out already? Is he exiled? I don't know. We're not coming back from this game, so we should probably just concede. I just wanted to see what the opponent had going on. See if he can kill me rather quickly. The advantage is you guys get to see more of my planes. Look at how lovely they are. And we'll concede here. See if he wants to do a G2. Awesome. We'll go G2, finish play another. Keep this deck. Shuffle, draw seven. So we got Urza Saga. Open the armory, angelic gift, spectral steel. I like this card with uh, Nicol Bolas. Even though he doesn't have that many enter the battlefield triggers. But it's his commander, so we'll keep it. He's going down a card. We'll play this planes and pass. Probably should have played Urza Saga. Right? Oh, you gotta pay two to create the construct. Untap draw. We'll play this planes, play light pause and pass. You guys like how muddled the this the card looks? Untap draw. Uh, looks like he's got a counter in his hand, so we'll play this Wasteland and target his Creeping Tar Pit with it. He's floating black, so we'll move to combat to get rid of it, or he's going to use it, destroying Light Paws. Hmm. Power 2 or less. Let's see, do we have anything that flashes in? Doesn't look like it. No. So. He'll go back to the command zone. Adding command counter. And we'll play Hushbringer. And pass. So untap draw. Opponent didn't play anything. We've got uh, three planes out. Hmm. Assuming he has a counter in his hand. But we'll attempt to play Spectral Steel on top. Of Hushbringer, and we'll swing for three. Gain three life from Lifelink, we'll pass. So, what other cheap, low CMC costing creatures are there that get card advantage in white? That's what I'm wondering. Anything that makes tokens, destroy target creature, CMC two or less, that will be Hushbringer. Going to the grave. Going to the grave. Untap draw. Play Urza's Saga. It looks like he has a counter in his hand. But uh, we will still attempt to play Light Paws. And he's going to counter it. Drawn on the lock. So kind of knew that was going to happen, but we had to try anyway. And pass. Plays Nickel Bolas. I'll have to discard a card from my hand. What do I do? Not sure. We'll do Mortal Obscenacy. Untap, draw. Tap 2 for Hero of Ionis. Tap 2 for Angelic Gift. Equipping, or not equipping, enchanting Iros. Um, so this guy will get a counter. And I get to draw a card. Put a counter on this. And pass. So, so far... In this matchup against control, it's not doing too hot. 
This is a mostly Voltron aggro deck. He plays the Royal Scions, discarding Narset, swinging in for four, four commander damage. Untap, draw, play this planes. Oh, so this will trigger on three. Search for artifact CMC one or less, put it on the battlefield and then shuffle. Skull Clamp would be good in this deck. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get that. This will go away. Shuffle our library. Play this planes. So this is costing six now, so we'll go ahead and play Light Pause, see if he has a response. No response. And we'll swing in with our guy. Uh, he's going to destroy it with a bolt. We'll go to the grave. This will go to the grave. Pass. Light Pause in this picture kind of looks like a really skinny Yoda. Jutaxian Probe. Uh-oh, he wants to see. So we'll reveal. We get to draw a card. We'll conceal. He's going to combat. He's going to swing in with Nicol Bolas. Untap draw. Here come the flood planes again. Play in the planes. Tap one, two, three, four, four. I don't want to play that yet. Let's play open the armory. Search for an aura. So CMC three or less is what we're looking for. We'll do this one. Quipping. He'll trigger. Opponent doesn't have a response. We're going to find another one. CMC three or less. Let's get the mask. Protection black and red. And we'll swing in at Royal Scions for two. He does that vigilance. And we'll pass. White is my favorite, one of my favorite art colors. He'll swing in for four. We'll untap, draw, play this planes. Tap four for Sage's Reverie, triggering light pause. But when this enters, I get to draw a card for each aura that I control that's attached to light pause, so that'll be... And then we get the trigger, CMC 4 or less, we'll do the indestructible. Or let's, uh, let's get some, some power in light pause. Power into light pause is pause. For 1-1 one, one for each, so this will add 4. Same here, 4. Then we'll swing in for 10, I believe. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of your scions. I totally forgot that he was out there. That would allow him to cycle through his deck. Did we play a planes yet? Yes, we did, so we'll pass. EOT's Gear Hulk. He's flashing him in. Playing target permanent to my hand. I don't like that. He's all good on the three. Hope he doesn't have... Well, he's going to be able to target it with Nicol Bolas once he transforms it. So now he'll be able to get rid of Light Paws with his uh, minus three. So Light Paws is dead. Should have got the indestructible aura, but we'll know for next game. Swinging in for five with the uh, Gear Hulk. Going on to 30. Untap draw. Play slap three. Commander counters. So light pause will cost eight. So we'll play Umbra Mystic, and do we play it now? I think we wait. Uh, shouldn't have waited. So swinging in for five. He activated Nickel Bolas right away, and that was kind of obvious that he would because he only had one card in, in his hand. So now he gets his card advantage, but maybe he'll play something else that we want to destroy with Generous Gift. Nope. But maybe he drew the counter spell. We'll see. Nope. So let's untap. Draw. Play. Seeing if we want to play a Maria Sky Ruin. Because that will allow us to get card advantage from our grave. But do we play Light Paws? I don't know. We'll play Light Paws. That's our main dude. Shake him. See if he's got a response. No response. We'll swing in with uh, Umbra Mystic. He's cracking Omen of the Sea. Oh, he takes two. We'll pass. Swinging in for five. Taking five. Oh, no. Ritual of Soot got me. Mmm. Let's put both in the grave and see if we can get Cheat Light Paws out with uh, Maria Sky Ruin. Untap draw. Play this tapped. And pass back. He's wondering why we put pause in the grave 
so we can dig him out with the Maria. He sees it now. He's going to swing in with Gearhawk. Go down another 5 to 15. Man, we should have did that generous gift earlier. And everything is untapped, which scares me a little bit. This will trigger. Let's get a uh, light pause back out here. Draw a card. Play Cigar to Zade. Even my auras flash. You may want to counter that. She does. Dealing two to me. Sure he has another counter spell. And we totally forgot to play Enlightened Tutor on the end of last turn. Anyway. Let's throw... Oh yeah, he's gonna counter that. Oh, he's gonna destroy. Yep. That'll happen. So Light Pause will go back to Grave. That will cancel. Pass turn. Go down to 8. End of turn. Play uh, Enlightened Tutor. Searching for an artifact or enchantment. Let's get a Ghostly Prison. Untap draw. Well, untap trigger. Where is Light Pause? There he is. Light Pause goes back out. Pay 1, 2, 3 for Ghostly Prison. And pass. Could have played Scavenger Grounds. Forgot. Ooh. Hero's Downfall. Why are you going to be so mean to Light Paws? He's just a fox. Advisor. Wandering Fumeral comes in. He's going to pay 4 to swing and this should be end of game. Yep. GG. He beat Light Paws into the ground. Into the grave. Hope you guys liked that. That showing of Light Paws. Please like and subscribe if you want to see any more Commander videos. Mostly playing 1v1 right now. Looking to get into four player games. Questions or comments or suggestions for the channel. Please let me know. I'm uh, always open to new ideas. So thanks for watching. Peace.